Money down. 84 evens are trading here now, guys. 82 evens are trading. Paper comes in a big seller. 81 evens are trading here now, guys. 79s are trading. What is going on, traders? So this is going to be part two to my last video where I talk about the center bar overlay candle build with a volume bars where I talk about the volume bars um, that expanded and contract quite a bit to uh, volume in the center of the bar. So this study or this chart build is a little bit different in that the center bar is almost fixed in its width here and we're only using one number bar study and what this means is that when we adjust and slide these scales this chart will automatically adjust the width of the volume bars and the width of the number bars and what that does is for somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of real estate or screen space they can actually adjust this study because you know with the last study we're doing all kinds of little things to get the center bar to line up in the middle perfectly and then you can't adjust the scales right so it is useful in the last study to have a fat or a thinner bar but we essentially get the same thing because if we color the uh, number bars uh, statistics um, down here then we can get that same indication that hey this is a high volume bar this is a high volume bar volumes increasing light shaded gray right these are all high volume bars and then also we can visually see that it's that some of these bars are, are high volume um, and so you still get that indication even without the visualization of the center bar really expanding but in this case because that center bar is so small it allows us to adjust the scales and not have any problems um, with adjustment of the number bar. So I'm just this this is just sort of an addendum to the last video I did on uh, the whole um, center bar overlay build. So you'll need to watch that video to sort of understand the way I do these columns down here, right, and how I do the volume profiles, etc. But um, this is just going to show you how to achieve this look here um, and do it for the reasons that I stated, you know. So let's get into it. Let's look at the studies here. And you're obviously going to have two number bars studies, right? One's going to be called NB volume if you looked at my last video, the other one would be NB delta. You can get rid of one or the other doesn't matter so get rid of one and then rename the one that you have so like numbers bar so you don't confuse yourself in the future right otherwise you're leaving NB Delta or volume and you think that's what it does well it's, this is now gonna do both so just call it numbers bars it's the one study you're gonna have and so in these inputs you're gonna use column one and you're gonna use column three only okay so go ahead and adjust these. This one is it's a little hard to see. Based on dominant, ask vol, bid vol to volume at price percentage is what this one is right here. Okay, so copy these. You can copy my RGBs if you want, or you have your own. If you have your own coloring scheme, put that in. Then for column two, no text, none transparent. You don't even need to adjust it to black, because by selecting no text non-transparent for background you're essentially saying don't use column two okay so it doesn't matter that you have a color in here for this column three we are going to use column three so what the number bar study is if you use typically if you use column one right here and column three it'll just stack them on top of each other and usual usually it will leave no space between them like you see here. So we're going to do a little trick to create that space. All right, so go ahead and set column three this way with the colors. All right, the default text color, still the same. 
Now, if you highlight any POCs or anything like that, don't put it in column two, because if you do, you're going to create a big space in column two. You don't want that. So for POCs, only use column one and three. That's it. We're, we're keeping column two for something else. For column two, we're going to use open and close marker style, uh, open to close boxes, and we're going to put this, these open to close boxes in column two. Well, these open to close boxes, I'll show you what they kind of look like here. I, well, maybe you can see them, maybe you can't. I don't know. Let's see. You see that? They're behind here. That's how wide they are. They're statically uh, this wide, right? So this is their width that they take up. So by putting it into column two, we're creating a tiny little space between column one and three that we're using to open and close for open and close boxes. Then we're turning the color of the open and close boxes, which is in column two, to the background color of your chart so it's hidden. Okay, so black in my case. See how they go away? All right? Does that make sense? It should. All right? So that's the that's the change right there. And if you have any spacing adjustment value, set it to 0 and then it'll set it automatically to see that? 3. So 3 is the lowest. You can set it to 3 or set it to something lower. That's fine. It'll it'll make it 3. Cuz that's the lowest. And then everything will be automatically adjusted here. Okay? So you only need one number bar, numbers bar study to achieve this look. And now you can slide your scales around, right? You're, you have a center bar here um, if you want it. Now here's the next step for that. Okay, if you go up here to your chart, graphic settings chart, if you're using global graphic settings, this is checked on. Then none of the settings that are the graphic settings just for this chart will apply. Okay, so if you are using, if this is off, that means you're using all of the colors that you have here. If this is off, then you need to adjust it here and go to price volume bars width and go to 10%. 10% is the widest or the, nar I'm sorry, 10% is the narrowest that will be allowed for this. It's, that's just the narrowest. If you set this to eight or nine or five or four or 3%, this candlestick won't get any nar more narrow, okay? So anyway, set that here. Obviously I use global graphic settings, which means you need to go up here to global settings, graphic settings global, right? We're, for the chart, we're saying we're using the global. Go to the other tab, go in here to price vol volume bars width, set it to 10%, hit apply. And now you've adjusted your center bar to have maximum 10% width. Now, is it totally perfect? Look, if we do this, will it overlap a little bit? Like say here, right? Of course it will. Right? But now if you do this, it's it's pr approximately fitting in here almost all the time and not really uh, overlapping your volume uh, profile and your delta profile. So that's it. It's a nice little update here that uh, can save folks who really lack screen space. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, Join the Discord and ask those questions in the Sierra Chart channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful trading day. Getting close to uh, about the shortable level here on the E-mini, so gotta go. Have a good one.